Hey everyone, uh, so I'm back again for another another fun day of renovations. Uh, I, I wanna start with some bad news though. So the self-leveler I laid down in the last video, unfortunately that's got some hairline cracks in it. And I've been kind of debating, you know, what I should do. Ideally we wouldn't have any, it's, a, it's an indication there's some flex in the floor. Uh, it, it, it all centers around the hole in, uh, where the toilet cutout is. I'm actually like, mostly okay with it. Like I, I've been like playing with it. I've got good adhesion. Uh, so I am, I'm rolling the dice. I'm not going to worry about it. And even with those, those hairline cracks, I've got this. So this is a, this is a decoupling membrane. Uh, this is, this is kind of my ace in the pocket or the, I, I don't, I don't know what the expression is. It ace in the whole pocket, whole pocket. I don't know. But essentially what this stuff does is it lays down. It's a, it's a thin membrane. Uh, that lays down over top of the uh, the plywood in there and acts to decouple it from the subfloor underneath. So even if there's some movement in the floor, uh, it's not likely to impact the tile above. Uh, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty, pretty okay. And as I was looking over this, I see here, right? We've got, yeah, James. James is responsible for the quality of this product. Me and James, we're gonna make this happen, right? This is gonna work out fine. James said so, so we're, we're, we're good. So today we're gonna be largely focused on getting that decoupling membrane down. Uh, it is gonna take a little while to dry, uh, so we'll probably do some odds and ends as well. As always, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. Let's get started. All right, so this is all cut back along the edges. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, next up is to cut the Dietra and lay it down. I was a little worried about that because I didn't want to have to cut a bunch of pieces. You can see down there, that's about 38 and a half inches. And that's kind of a weird length for anything, right? Then I came over here and I measured the Dietra and look at that, 39 inches. James, buddy, thank you, perfect. Came through again, appreciate it. So I've got what I think it's a great idea to unroll it and cut it in here so I don't have to take measurements and whatever else. Now, I've never successfully done this before. And normally I would just measure and cut it outside. But today I feel like Lux with me. I feel like I don't want to keep putting this all on James, but I feel like James is with me here. He's going to make sure that I succeed. All right, so cutting that in place was definitely a lot easier than measuring and <laughs> cutting outside of the room. Uh, I ended up getting both sheets uh, at least dry fit in. Uh, next up, we're gonna mix some mortar and we're gonna adhere it down and, and let it dry. All right, remember how I said next up was we'd be putting the thin set down? Well, I was wrong. Uh, next up, we're actually driving back to my house uh, because I forgot the thin set there. So real, real quick, uh, quick little field trip. One of the things I've been trying to do is just to ensure that I've got everything I need for, uh, you know, at least a couple weeks out uh, prepared for, for the job that I'm going to do so that I'm not stuck on the days that I actually have to work full days. Uh, I'm not stuck driving back and forth uh, between here and, and, you know, the home center or whatever. Worked out pretty well so far, except I, I make these, these seven minute trips pretty frequently. All right, I'm back. I've got two bags of thin set. So the one on the left is meant to go between the decoupling membrane and the surface underneath when it's a, a masonry type surface, like a concrete or a, a other such surface. Now the one on the right is meant to go under decoupling membrane over plywood surfaces. Unfortunately for me, I have both. So I think the best course of action is just to, just to take them both and just mix them together. That way we get the best of both worlds, right? No, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I thought about doing that but I, I said that's, that's not the right thing to do. So I'm gonna have to mix two different batches. Uh, one I'll put over the plywood, the other I'll put over the self-leveler. They both kind of set up differently. One dries, one cures. Uh, so I just have to make sure I've got the right one over the substrate uh, under the, the uncoupling membrane uh, so that it doesn't take forever and it will actually dry and won't crack and, and all the things. So we're gonna do it. We don't like it, but we're gonna do it.
here's the big question. Will I have enough without having to go and mix another batch? I don't know. Except the modified thin set for the rest of the floor. All right, so as you probably observed, uh, tiling, anything to do with tiling, like, like laying down the underlayment, all this stuff, it's not my thing. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Uh, my my thin set's always a little too wet or it's a little too dry, and, and I just I just I just deal with it. But I continue to do it because in the end, right? No matter if it's too wet, if it's too dry, if I think I've got poor adhesion on the Ditra, whatever, it always works out. So I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep doing it poorly. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing my best because it needs to get done. Like I I, I gotta do it, and unfortunately. I've got a lot of tiling to do in here, right? I'm planning on doing the surround and I'm planning on doing the floor. And to a professional, right, that's probably not a lot of tiling, but it is for me. Like I'm stressing about this shower surround here. Uh, no clue how I'm gonna do that. But you know what I've got? I've got more confidence that I probably should, <laughs> that I can do this. I've got YouTube and I've got a backup plan. So when it comes down to it, if I can't figure this out, if I can't make it work, I can always do the vinyl sheets, just adhere them to the wall. It'll be waterproof, it won't look as good, but I'm going for the tile, I'm going big. <laughs> I, I, it'll work out. I mean, it always does, and if it doesn't, like I said, I got a backup plan. All right, so while the bathroom is is curing, drying, doing whatever it's doing, we need to find something else to do. And, and uh, the great thing about this place is there's never a shortage of things to do. Uh, sometimes there's a shortage of, of a will to do them or materials to do them, but but the stuff is there, right? It needs to be done. We're gonna turn our attention to this room. Uh, you may remember this, uh, in one of the earliest videos for this downstairs apartment, I installed all of these windows. I had taken up the floor. Uh, I had punched some random holes in the ceiling. I had a reason for that at some point. I don't remember what it is now, but we gotta figure out what to do in here. Uh, to start off with, I, I'm just gonna clean up the floor. What I wanna be able to determine is if I can sand this floor down and, and not have to go over it with a, like a luxury vinyl or, or something like that. I really don't wanna do that, uh, but I have no idea what the wood is underneath this. And I think this is adhesive. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get it up. Ultimately, and going down that path, like trying to get this all cleaned up, trying to sand the floor, it, you know, it could be an ugly floor, right? The floor in here is super stable. I was able to check one of the areas by the doorway. It does seem like it's some sort of tongue and groove something or other, which, which probably helps with the stability. Uh, I, I have no idea. Um, I'm just gonna clean it up in here, uh, try and get a sense of you know, what it would take to get some of that glue up and, and, and take it from there. All right, so I'm, I'm torn. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the floors in there. I, I got down there, I sanded a little bit of that, put a little water on it to kind of see what it would be like when it was finished. I think they're just pine uh, tongue and groove floors, uh, right? And that's, that's, that's great, they're super stable. Um, you know, I think they'd refinish up pretty well. Uh, on the other hand though, uh, the areas that are not really exposed, they're, they're real stuck down and they got the paper tape on the back. Uh, I'm a little concerned about that because when I have taken that off, there's like really thick glue underneath it, uh, which which seems to stand okay, uh, but it's thick, right? I, I think it's gonna be a lot of work, uh, even with a, a good sander, to get that down to the to the floorboards. And, uh, and I, I gotta get it tested, right? Because I, I was partway through when I was, I was doing this, uh, but I realized, oh, there could be asbestos in this, right? I wasn't thinking, I stopped, um, I had my respirator on and, and all that. I'm gonna go spray it down and clean up in there. 
Uh, but but I have to get it tested before I before I do anything else. I think I'm feeling a little overwhelmed right now. Right, I've been at this. You know, it's in terms of videos, it's probably a month now, but it's really like eight, nine, ten days or so. I've got a lot to do, and I'm kind of feeling some of that pressure because the big projects, right? As I'm as I'm breaking stuff down, the big projects are piling up. In this room, I got to do the ceiling. I got to do the electrical stuff. I got to do walls in there. Ugh, I'm just feeling it, you know? I'm having, I'm having the feels, as, as, as my wife would say. And I think, you know, being able to say I'm going to do vinyl in that other, other room, like, that takes away some unknown, right? I have a pretty good sense of what that's going to take for me to do. Uh, and, I, you know, hmm. <sighs> Yeah, I might just do it. It allows me to kind of control it a little little better. Like, I know what that job's going to take. I know how long it's going to take. Uh, I know what I have to do, right? It's, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, so I didn't record this, uh, but I cleaned up in here as well as I, as well as I could. Uh, started exploring a little bit. Uh, I did discover there's some stuff that I got to take care of. Uh, before I do anything. Uh, ultimately, I think, I think I'm going to lay down uh, luxury vinyl in here uh, as I kind of work through it. In my mind, it's the right thing for me for this apartment for now. Uh, so we're going to move forward with that plan. I've got some shoring up to do in here before I can do that. That's going to be it for me for the day. Thanks so much for joining me once again. As a reminder, if you like this content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.